Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. This is episode 29 of our Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We just had an army battle, which is why we're on the army screen here. Um, we had our, moved our armies around. We've got two armies that we're working with right now. We've got a Strength 3 army and a Strength 4 army. Um... We could move the Strength 3 army down the road a little bit to do a little exploring. We've got a Strength 4 demon army here, which would be nice to finish off. Strength 3 demon army here, and a Strength 7 demon army that we just don't want to mess with right now. Because that is nasty looking army. Uh, looks like we can keep exploring down this road as well. Might be something there for our um, characters to look at. So we're going to go to our characters right now. Um, we've got the Nameless Ruins for Nino. Uh, Chili Creek we needed to go to. We found this uh, location here, the Hollow Tree. Um... Don't really want to run our characters all the way up here just to find out there's really nothing we can do there. So let's go to Chili Creek and the Hollow Tree. Fight! Giant spiders. Hmm? You've crossed the wrong Yet another obstacle. obstacle. Did you see that? Nice job, Lan. You should have listened to reason. Beiters over this way. Forwards. There we go. That's kind of what we wanted. We wanted to into the fray. Ow. Oh, there's more of them. There they are. Mind over muscle. You won't survive me. So far, so good. Ow, oh, blue. Be gone, fiend! We will falter! The Inheritor, guide my ah. blade! Let us be off. All right. Some XP out of that. Nothing to loot, but a little XP. Alright, well, we can't get to that until we go on the other side of the river there, so that's okay. Whoa! Sorry about that. Ah, slidey cat. <laughs> Chili Creek. The dead dire wolf, okay. Ducks. Let's move. He 
small doll made of glass is tied to a tree with a dark blue ribbon. An old doll hangs from the branches. Their grass and seaweed bodies are slowly rotting away. Jirna walks thoughtfully through the grove. He pauses in front of a few trees, lingering there for some time. He seems to be examining something carefully. At the sound of your footsteps, he turns around abruptly, but the anxious expression from his face gives way to an amiable smile. Commander, so glad to see you. I've, it seems you've found some time to visit our quiet backwater after all. I could be mistaken, but it looked like you were frightened by my arrival. Oh no, you startled me, that's all. It's my overactive imagination. I still can't get used to living in such a small village. The town where I grew up was a good deal larger, and it was located near a trade route. So there was always lots of new faces and plenty of people bustling around. Here, though, it's different. The moment you step outside the village, you're all alone. You can walk for miles in any direction, but only the birds and animals for company. This is, of course, the way Erastil teaches us to live. But truth be told, it still makes me feel somewhat uncomfortable. Why were you looking at those trees? See for yourself. He points to one of the branches, and among the leaves you notice a small doll made of grass and seaweed tied with blue ribbon. I keep finding them here in the grove. I think it's some kind of ritual. I've asked the villagers to tell me what it means, but they won't give me an answer. I just don't understand the reason for all this secrecy. How do you like living in the village? I'm getting used to the way of things. I see I still get the occasional sidelong side long glance from the locals. But that's not surprising. After all, I'm just some stranger who decided to show up without an invitation and settle down in the village. But the church warned us about this. Such caution is to be expected at first. I just have to do my best to earn their trust. I heal, I purify the water, I give blessings. Sooner or later, they will accept me as one of their own. It's so quiet here. War makes you forget that what peace feels like. I understand. My time in Canabras gave me a small taste of war. I only have to live through it for a few days, but I know the horrors. I Oh, but I know the horrors I witnessed will haunt my nightmares for years to come. I cannot imagine how hard it is for the likes of yourself, soldiers who have given their lives to this cause. The priest places a hand on his heart. You have chosen to fight there in order to protect our peaceful and quiet life here, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What do the locals think of Arastil? They're indifferent. They are pragmatic people, you know. They don't have time for theology. If old Deadeye helps them survive, that's good enough for them. Hmm. Guess we're going to find out about old Deadeye. You know, some priests get overzealous with sermons. They demand that people pray, observe all the rituals, make sacrifices. And then those priests, all holy and pious, are surprised when locals kick them out of their village, right into the nearest ditch, the priest laughs. I was taught differently. First, you have to prove your, prove your worth. You have to show them why you and your deity are useful. It's only after they've begun to trust you and start question and start asking questions about your faith that you can really share your beliefs then you can tell them about tell them all about old dead eye and his teachings well then will you show me around the village of course let's go you'll get to meet the locals see how we live maybe you'll even manage to get some peace and quiet a temporary respite from the respite 
from the hardships of war. Because Resprite, that's, you know, when you fill your soda back up. Don't be offended if they start gawking at you. Not many strangers come to this remote little village. Um, so even half-orcs, who are fairly common everywhere else, are an unusual sight for the villagers here. But I've already told them about you and explained everything as best I could. A straw doll clad in a small, skillfully embroidered light blue dress is tied to the trunk of a tree. Follow me. Old faded blue ribbons hang from the branches of this tree. A piece of gray ribbon hangs from the branch. What a beast! We've got you now! Watch out for those huge teeth. Don't let them catch you. Aim for the throat and belly. Fewer scales there. Don't be afraid, everyone. We've got ones bigger than we fought ones bigger than this. Did we find trouble? No, they did. Get him blue. With all your might. That'll teach you to mess with us. A man with green eyes and broad shoulders of a swimmer and the calloused hands of a fisherman shakes his fist at the beast's motionless carcass. Something's got them all worked up. That's the second time they've crawled out this month. So let them come. A woman with eyes the same shade of green as the fisherman smiles at you. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last. But what's the matter? They can't hurt us, and we can use their hides to make a lot of waterproof coats and cloaks. Markiel, Melissa, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Joseph Starfire, the commander of the crusade. He's the one I told you about. Ah, a real hero in our little backwater. It's so nice of you to drop by. We've never had anyone so important come to visit. Heroic acts are important, but sometimes it's good to leave the front lines and talk to ordinary people living ordinary lives. Anyway, welcome to Chili Creek. Hydras are usually far more dangerous. That beast was not at full strength. I can tell you have an eye for such things. Well, of course he does. He's the commander of the crusade. He probably could have told you all that with his eyes shut. Melissa smiles at you. It's all thanks to our mother, Icy Real. She takes care of her children, won't let them hurt, won't let anyone hurt them. She fills our nets with fish and drives away the monsters. That's right, and she doesn't drive and if she doesn't drive the beasts away, she weakens them so we can kill them, harvest their hides. I see Rill. Who's that? She's right here. Merkel nods towards the river. Did you think this was the Selen? No. It'd take you half a day's rowing before you reached that river. It's big, to be sure, and very important. The Selen flows through at least a dozen count countries. But where would the Great Selen be 
if it wasn't fed by thousands of little streams and creeks, such as our dear icy rill. The people of Chili Creek hold the river in great reverence. The priest's observation is matter of fact, but you notice his voice sounds a bit strained. How could we not? Our whole lives are built around the river. From the wedding wreath we send down the stream to the funeral boat that floats away on the waters when the time comes. Our mother, Icy Rill, feeds us, gives us water, protects us. With a kind smile, Mark Hill casts a sidelong glance at the frowning priest. The gods are far away, but Icy Rill is right here, so we treat her with respect. You two look very much alike. I assume you're related. Right you are. Mark Hill ruffles Melissa's fat hair. She laughs and twinks his nose. She's my little sister. Takes, a, takes after our granny. May her memory never fade. She was always restless. Couldn't sit still. And Melissa is just the same. She's always up to something. And you look like our grandpa. May the river silt be, be his feather bed. You're as brave as he was and just as stubborn. You two looked very confident when you were giving orders to the other villagers during the fight. Are you in charge here? Well, how should I put this? Our village is too small for anyone to be in charge. We just happen to know a thing or two about using weapons. So if some nasty creature comes crawling out of the river, we give the orders. But when it comes to fishing or fixing nets, we'll be the, we'll be the ones following orders. We're not an army and there are no officers here. We all live together, solving our problems together, and serve the icy rill together. Although truth be told, it's only been a few years that people have really started listening to us. Before that, villagers kept themselves and no one wanted to go poking their nose in anyone else's business. When we first came up with the idea uh, to start trading on the river, the other villagers stubbornly dug in their heels. But after money and goods began to flow into the village, they changed their minds. Money and goods would do that. Yes, the village has been growing. We're getting to see all sorts of things we had only ever heard about before. The year before last, we had a fair, and people came all the way from Canabras to attend. Then a priest came, and we'd never seen one of those before in our parts. And now, who'd have thought? The commander of the crusade has decided to pay us a visit. And not just a commander, but one with orcish blood. There may be a lot of your kin everywhere, but for us, you're a rare sight. There are some children in the village who have never seen anyone like you before. Don't get offended if the little ones stare. What are those grass dolls that hang from the trees in the grove? A shadow passes over Markle's face and he looks away. There's nothing much to tell, really. An old local custom. It's just a ritual. Melissa adds in a low voice. No one seems seems willing to share any in further details about to you. How is life in the village now that you've got a priest? Not much has changed. Mark Hill shrugs and smiles amiably. He's a good lad. He does some healing. Never bothers us with sermons. Why, he's even learning to fish in his spare time. He also knows a lot of songs, and when he sings, it makes you want to sit and listen. Melissa smiles archly at the priest and blushes. The world wound is not far away. Have you ever been attacked by demons? No, nope, we've never seen any. Our mother, Icy Reel, keeps us safe. She never let she would never let such abominations get near us. I have to go. Back to the front, Melissa shakes her head sadly. 
I can't even imagine the nightmarish creatures you have to fight there. Have a safe journey and a swift victory. And we're not going to loot from the villagers because that would be terrible. We are going to loot this uh, Hydra and get his eyeballs, though. March on! That's got to be the village. Let's keep exploring outside the village, then we'll go into the village. Onwards. Wolvies. I'm all ears. Endure this! Can we retreat already? I'll remove this obstacle. Well, that was so zeal that I ran up no there. No glory uh, without rest! thought that was Sila. Ah, of course you went after the guy that wanted Cover me, all right? Into the fray! <laughs> Well, we got some corrupted animal meat and an elk hide. Hi there, kitty. You're in the way. You know that? Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that because you're still sitting in the way. Let us be off. More wolves. More wolves, kitty. All right. Before you do anything weird like that, Make every strike count. count here. The inheritor, guide my blade. No, that is not what I meant to do. We can do it. Ah, world of one needing a two. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The performance is lacking. You are lacking. The light takes you. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Oh, more wolves. Let's move. 
Let's see if there are any more wolves up here. Nope. Alright. Follow me. See what loot this is. Come on, loot. There we go. March on. All right, let's go down the river and check out those dead wolves. Onwards. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. We are the light. They are the darkness. <sighs> Into the fray. Ooh, plagued bear as well. Sitting on sixes, holy smokes. Just sit here. Oh my goodness. Don't worry about me. Distract them from me. We won't falter. Survive me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Search for the beauty with your heart, not your eyes. Get Sila healed up. She went down super fast. No reason to pause. Goddess protects us. We will win this war. I will lend you my aid. All right. Yeah, that, uh, Leg, what's its Let face? Us be off. Just kind of devastated poor Sela between him and the bear. Well, I want to know what was wiping out the uh, the wolves and 
Well, we found out, didn't we? All right, let's, let's go move. check out the village. Look, the commander's here. Welcome back. Please stay as long as you'd like. How are things going in the village? Eh, not much happens in the village. I'm sure you've got a lot going on and stuff is always happening in the cities and on the front lines. But things are pretty quiet out here. But let's see. What's the latest news from our village? Well... We went fishing and caught some ru some roof. They're, they were big, too. Nice and plump. Fat little pig. Fat as piglets. I tell ya, what else? Weevils have gotten through our carrots. They gobbled up everything down to the last stock. Then the other day, old Bregg went up to fix his roof and took a hard fall. If it hadn't been for Jerna and his prayers, he'd have kicked the bucket by now. No doubt about that. You must think it's ridiculous to call any of this news. Also, Jerna is downright wonderful. I don't know, maybe his prayers are working, or maybe he has a lucky touch. But whenever he blesses me, I always catch a boatload of fish. Also, he sings like an enough already. Jerna this, Jerna that. It's all I ever hear you talk about. Do you worship any deities here? Faith, religions, deities, with all due respect to Jerna, no one out here has time for such things. Maybe people in the city can go around saying prayers and listening to sermons, but in a backwater place like this, we're just doing what we can to survive. There's only one provider and protector for us, our mother, Icy Rill. Markle nods towards the river. Yeah, the river doesn't care about prayers or sacrifices. And if Icy Real wants something in exchange for your help, she just takes it without asking. Uh, Melissa stares penitently at a piece of driftwood as, it, as it's carried by the current. Maybe they'll talk about the grass, the, the, the grass dolls now. No. When crusaders are near the world wound, they often experience nightmares when they sleep. Do you have any troubles with nightmares here? Don't know what you're talking about. If I'm honest, I sleep like a dead man. Nothing to complain about. I have to go. Follow me. Lots of loot, but again, it just doesn't seem right looting from the villagers. This is the way we live out here. We're not wealthy, but things are relatively quiet. When the Crusaders are near the World Wound, they often experience nightmares when they sleep. Do you have any trouble with nightmares here? No troubles with nightmares. The village is located on the outskirts of the World Wound, so perhaps that's why. Yeah, I already asked him all those other questions, so... Or I still help you. Edge. March on. All right. 
Well, that's the village. Time to head out. Head on down the road. Move on out. Set feet to path. One foot in front of the other. And whatever other things I can think of to say, we're heading down the road. So we can't go to this place because it's across this little river. All right, we're fatigued. Let's go ahead and set up rest. Set up rest. Yeah, rest and set up camp. Those are the things that I'm talking about there. Hey, Socio, if you paint my portrait, will your goddess curse you for blasphemy? How could a portrait of a friend be blasphemy? If you truly want me to, I'd be glad to paint you. There we go. Impact of corruption was weakened. That's good. Hey, we failed on our seasoned wings again. We just don't. It was a plus nine. We fail an awful lot needing that five. All right, let's go to the armies. Let's see, what do we got here? We got 1,900 resources. We don't got enough to buy any more clerics or hell knights. So we're still low on funds. I just don't like the idea of sending army three all the way after these guys that are also level three send army four that way let's send army four that way oh, there we go Primitive altar. There's more stuff to examine. On the global map, you can cast special magic rituals that give you advantages both in the battlefield and in the economy. What are these things? Not sure what they are, but let's kill them. All right. Got six scorching rays. Let's go ahead and do nothing to those guys. Okay. Second shot, nice. Oh, got about extra shot. Nice. Well, that guy was pretty nasty. Oh, bonus. 
Thomas attack. Oh no, these are the knights. <laughs> Bonus attack. Knights. <laughs> Lost four Hell Knights. Hopefully I get some of those guys back from the infirmary. Because they're pretty tough. You little bugger. I lost four uh, guys. I got one back. I lost four Hell Knights. I got two back. I lost 20 archers and got two back. Wow, that was not, not a good battle. I mean, we won, but still lost a lot of guys. What did we get? I uh, found materials, points, and energy points. And now we're downgraded back to a level three army. Oh, our general leveled up. Cause fear. Shield of faith. Bless. Bane. Do Shield of Faith. All right, back to the characters. Let's head to the Nameless Ruins for Nino. Oh, random encounter. What are we fighting? You can handle them, right? Spiders and a succubus? Time to share your treasures. Huh? Nice try. Didn't work, though. Ba, er, Ritchie. The Inheritor, guide my blade! Strike with all your might! I want to kill this succubus before, uh, endure this! There we go. Before she bewitches anybody. I will bring down the divine wrath! Stupid spider. Cover me, all right? Should have listened to reason. The light take you. We can do it. There we go. No loots. All right. Time to head out. But we got rid of that succubus before she was able to enchant anybody. Cause that's that's I hate that. <laughs> Healing unit during combat can resurrect fallen soldiers, but if a unit is completely destroyed, it can't be healed. Alright. It's a decent sized map. 
Let us be right, can't go up there. Oh. I'll cheer you on from over there. Ghoul stalkers. No glory without risk. Make every strike count. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Ghoul creeper and a ghoul huntsmaster. Forwards! Well, this guy's tough. Eternal Rose, I call upon you! Of course. Ow! The Inheritor, guide my blade! You've crossed the wrong mongrel. We miss so much needing low numbers. Distract them for me. There we go. Get him blue. We won't falter. Be gone, fiend! The light take you! You won't survive me. Time to share your treasures! Needing a three and we miss. Why does Blue not get a uh, reactionary attack against that archer dude who's shooting the jeebers out of Sela? Strike with all your might! Me, all right. We can do it. There we go. That was kind of a tough fight. All right, let's gather up. Let me help. That's probably good enough for right now. Let's go in the cave. There's a bunch of ghoul creepers. Always be ready for the worst. Land, you're up. We won't fall here. I swear it. Nice shooting. I'm gonna have Wool Jeff hold up for a second. They're all creepy. 
creepers. The inheritor, guide my blade. Forwards. <laughs> I will bring down the Divine Wrath! Make every strike count! Just need a five. Just need an eight. I mean, eights are not a horrible thing to miss, but when I'm missing like threes, twos, like I do a lot, uh, that's when I'm like, what the bloody heck? The light take you! We won't falter! Stab your Zappy. Why not both? Eternal Rose, I call upon you! Everybody came out of that one in pretty good shape. Some armor we don't want to grab. Kind of cool, a little blue circle there we can't interact with. How many more ghouls are in this cave? What's that? Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. We will be victorious! I'll remove this obstacle. combat near that trap. Oh, it's ran right past me. Way to go. Yep, 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 yep. Strike with all your might! Dagger time for land, because... You've crossed the wrong mongrel! That mean guy decided to get there. Oh, there's a... Archer dude, there he is. Something over there. Oh my goodness, more traps. Um... This is my kind of work. Back to the bow with land. You guys a dang good shot if he can
No glory without risk! Mind over muscle. We can do it! You won't survive me. All right. Who, oh, me? Pretty good, aren't I? Remnants of the Ghoul's Feast. The world has suffered enough. Check out this stuff. Midnight soup. What do we got here? Vast intelligence and a cloak of cleansing. First off, we want to go ahead and copy the recipe of the midnight soup. Cloak of Cleansing. Compulsion and disease effects. Now let's put that on here, because Paladin doesn't need that. here everybody's fatigued now all right I should have must have come from fighting or something I don't know all right so then land no we'll jiff Ozil's got a plus one, so then let's get land. And then the vast intelligence, that obviously is going to go to our scroll wizard. This is my kind of work. do with this Let's move. beast. Damn! It's just not my lucky day. Scattered remains are sickening to look upon. Alright, well we didn't find out about that Follow was. me. Alright, well we're fatigued, so let's get out of this Cave. Let's head back to the world map. Take a nappy nap. And then come back in fresh as daisies. Just armor left behind that we don't want to mess with. The abyssal corruption is going to start getting up. We could head to camp. Let's do that. Let's head to camp. There's no reason not to go to camp. Keep the abyssal corruption low. We don't want the abyssal corruption to be too high because then that messes everything up. And we're right here. It doesn't hurt to do anything since we're right here. 
we were a long ways away, maybe we would risk it. But since we're right here, there's really no point in risking it. and get our rest. Marching on Dresden upended my life and gave me a new, utterly incomparable experience. One could say it made me a different person. A person who can dress and groom himself without the aid of servants. <laughs> Poor guy's got to dress and groom himself without his servants. It's got to be rough. For a small fee, I'll teach you a whole load of useful things. How about we start with a coin trick, eh? Ah. Commander becomes the host of an anomalous force. And he, his dreams are filled with strange visions. He feels the space around him distort, and his sensory organs are flooded by false images. Bred by distortions of light and air, reality itself tries to expel the commander into some dark tunnel. At the other end, a grim future awaits. His body resists the crude attempt to wrench it from reality, but the unknown force finds a tangle in the commander's soul. One made of demonic rage and destructive desire. The stranger grabs at it and pulls like a hunger reeling in a harp a hunter reeling in a harpoon. Wow. Troubled by the sudden intrusion, the dark and ominous force deep in the commander's soul answers with a menacing growl. The commander That's not gonna happen very much. That's all of these are, are going to be rough. Stares intently at the ghostly figure. Success! The darkness conceals the stranger's appearance, but something can be glimpsed. A massive set of bullhorns crowning a head, the tips glinting benevolently. Ooh, and that's Baphomet. Try to understand what's going on. Success! I'm not sure how we succeeded that. <laughs> he needs a moment to figure this out. The commander is being summoned, transported through space by some magical force. However, the attempt did not succeed because the commander is not a spirit or demon, but a mortal half-orc. The commander is surprised that this spell worked on him at all. He... uses every effort to suppress the tangle of rage in his soul which the mysterious power has latched onto. By force of will, the commander pushes his anger down as deep in his soul as he can. The attraction rapidly weakens in, res or in response as if the mysterious enemy can no longer sense the commander and concentrates its efforts on him. The apparition recedes, leaving the commander wondering whether it was really it was reality or a nightmare. Reading can be difficult at times. All right, we want to go outside so we don't forget. We want to talk to people when we start up next because we're almost at that hour mark. So let's go ahead and drop it here. We are just shy of the hour mark. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I have been Sir Joseph. You guys have been awesome. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And as always, do me a favor, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you guys next time.